Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Keith here from Commander Hoop Celtic. If this is your first time viewing the channel, if you could subscribe, a thumbs up or a comment below would be really appreciated. We're on the road to 7k, so every thumbs up, every sub is really important to this page. So let's talk about it tonight. Transfer targets that could be in the door by the weekend and the game tomorrow as well, which I'll be giving you my prediction. And I think the way it's going to fall as well. So we're on the verge of signing right back from the Polish League, from Lega Warsaw, a lad called Josef Jurnovic, 26 years of age, a Croatian right back, played 12 times for Croatia, 10 assists for Lega Warsaw, one goal, and he's played over 40 times for them. 5 for 8 as well. Now, this guy's been linked with Celtic for the last three weeks, and eventually, hopefully, we get this lad over the line. Attributes wise, looks class. We need a bit of ammunition in the right back position because we only have Anthony Rolson there. So we get this lad over the line before the weekend. He'd be in contention for the St. Mirren game as well. Fingers crossed because we're, we're crying for a right back for literally weeks. And I've said it many times in this page and I've, I've talked about this lad a couple of times as well. But that's what I know of him so far. And we get him across the line. The fee is meant to be 2.5 million pounds. For people, Some people are saying personal terms yet to be agreed. But look, if we get in the Europa League, sell it to him. At the end of the day, he's coming to one of the best football atmospheres in world football. Fans are phenomenal, as we all know. So let's get him over the line. I think it's a good bit of business. 26 year old for 2.5 million. And a Croatian international. It's not a bad bit of business, to be honest. There was a couple of teams looking at him like Spartak, Moscow and Florentina. So it looks like we wheeled him in, wheeled the deal in. Another lad that's been linked to us is an Irish player that's 23 years of age, Liam Scales. He's over six foot. Currently plays for Shamrock Rovers. He can play centre back, defensive midfield and on the left wing. So we get this lad over the line. The reports are saying that this deal could be announced by tomorrow. 600k is the fee they're looking at for Shamrock Rovers, which is not bad. To be honest, not bad bit of business for League of Ireland going to the SPFL. So I wish him the very best. I think he has potential. Look at that couple of his video and he's pretty decent, like regards attacking wise, a couple of goals in there for Rovers as well. Another lad we're looking at from the Dutch League from the Air Divise is a Greek international called Georgios Geokakis. Now He's 26 years of age, he's over 6 foot, he has some goal to game ratio as well. He played 32 games last season and scored 26 goals. Now, he played for a team called VVV Venom. They did get relegated from the year to Vise, but that goal to game ratio is promising. Now, the fee that we're looking at him for is 2.6 million. So we get this lad over the line, he said that he want, he's listening to offers, he wants to move away from Holland. So hopefully we can wheel this lad over the line because we still don't know what's going on with Edwards, with Griffiths. We get him over the line for a bit of cover because we're, we're crying out for our strikers, to be honest. And that's the way it's gone. But um, let's see how this unfolds. This story broke the other day because striker that we were looking at, Thomas Henry, or Thomas Henry from French striker that plays in the Belgium League. Looks like he's he's making a switch to Ghent. So it looks like that's off the card. So... um. Regards to the game tomorrow, tough match. AZ Alkmaar kicked off their domestic campaign the weekend. They lost 1-0, so what I'm expecting is a really tough game. Look, no Dutch teams are pushovers, definitely not. We've seen the likes of playing Ajax in the past and PSV and Feyenoord and other different teams. Good potential in that Dutch league as well. Um, they're going to be missing one of their star wingers. He got suspended in the last Europa League game. That he played last season, so they're going to be missing out on a lad that's valued seven million. We're the only players um that we're going to be missing tomorrow is Ryan Christie. He's still out. Mikey Johnson's still out. Could be a chance that James McCarthy could start. Perhaps will Coyalgo play? So my starting lineup for tomorrow will be Joe Hart. Look, it wasn't his fault for the weekend with the two goals. It was defensive errors. I just feel that we need to improve drastically in regards to defense. Every Celtic fan knows it. So um, Joe Hart in goal, right back will be Anthony Ralston. No one else can play there except Uruguiri. So Ralston right back, Taylor left back. I think he's playing all right so far. I would have liked to see Bonangoli come in, change it around, refresh the legs for the, the league game on Saturday. Centre-back is going to be Starfelt and Welch. 
I think Starfelt is very he's been very hit and miss so far. He's still trying to find his feet. Hopefully, European wise, he's more experienced. He's not he's not panicking, giving away stupid fails, giving away stupid balls. So give him a bit of time. He still has to settle. You know, this is a guy we got for five million. Patience, patience, but Welch was there. And the only thing I said about Welch, even though he took his goal well the weekend against Hearts, is giving away stupid fouls, especially in Europe. We don't need we don't need sending off, especially in a two leg affair against AZ Alkmaar. Midfield, I would keep the same midfield that we had. I'd go with McGregor. I'll go with Tom Rogic, Turnbull, Forrest. And then perhaps if we if we can get Koyogo in there and Edward. Look at Koyogo's on form. He's been absolute class. Edward looks like a a new player after that game the weekend but let's see if he can carry that on and obviously Ryan Christie won't be available Lee Alabada can come back in we could drop Forrest and keep Forrest for the domestic game or play Abada perhaps you know there is ammunition on the bench that could come on James McCarthy can come on hold the midfield Sorrow can come on you know it's um there is players that can make a change on that bench regards to ammunition yet he might come on he look, he's looking a bit more sharper Griffiths could be in contention. He was on the bench the weekend. We shall see. But score predictions for the game tomorrow. I'm going to fancy 2-0. I think they will hold the line. I think there won't be any stupid fouls and goals conceded. I think we're going to be pressing them within the first 30 minutes and get a sneaky goal in the first half. I fancy David Humble get coming up with one similar to last week. And then I'm going to fancy Quayogo as well. I just think he's, he's on form. It's the occasion for him. Celtic Park be kicking. Yet again, you're obviously going to see the stand where the dugout is. That will be empty for UA for regulations. And then the rest of the stadium will be packed. Electric atmosphere. So um, it's good to see all these home games getting a roll in. Obviously, the league, the League Cup, and then European qualifiers. It's been class. Absolutely class. So I'll go 2-0 to tomorrow. Let us know what you think about the transfer targets and also regards to who's going to score. Speak to us all soon.